Let's talk about gear, more specifically cameras. Which camera should I get? This is the most frequently asked question as a beginner. A quick online search gives you millions of reviews, and at times it might be hard to know where to start. There's so many cameras to choose from. Sony, Canon, Panasonic, Blackmagic, and RED. The list is long. Many of these cameras are so expensive. And just getting into filmmaking, you might think, the better camera I have, the better videos I make. But from my experience, I can tell you that this is not completely true. You might find more inspiration and motivation by getting a more expensive camera, but starting out, this won't make your videos better. I always dreamt of having the most expensive camera shooting 6 or 8K and seeing all these top content creators getting every new camera for review, it made me want these cameras even more. But with no money to spare on such an expensive device, I started out with the Sony a6300 and a kit lens. Now, let me tell you a story from when I first started and the first camera I got and what happened when I got this first camera and my experience overall using different cameras. Five years ago, I found my passion for filmmaking. It started when my son was born, Philip. My biggest inspiration was Casey Neistat and being home with my son for months, I watched every single video that Casey had uploaded and every single video being uploaded. I never felt so inspired to pursue my dream of becoming a filmmaker and YouTuber. And this was just by watching another content creator's videos. At the time, I didn't understand why, but now it's easy to understand that inspiration and motivation and dedication is what's needed to become successful on any social media platform. And all I needed was just the camera on my phone. And I think I had the iPhone 7 or 8 at that time, and I recorded everything. Even though none of these clips ever made it to YouTube, I practiced every single day. Composition, angles, moves, settings, well, Settings was basically tapping the record button at that time, uh, but I think you know what I mean. I also needed somewhere to edit these videos that I recorded. I had an iPad, did one search, best editing app for iOS. At the top of my search result, I saw LumaFusion. At the time, LumaFusion was a basic, straightforward editing software. Import, trim, grade, add some music, and export. Everything I needed. But after spending a few hours on YouTube looking at videos from different creators, I saw that my videos weren't even close to the quality uploaded from these guys. And I gradually started losing motivation. That's when I got the Sony a6300. I felt like I needed a change. Even though I didn't know how to use this camera, I immediately felt more professional. With different picture profiles, changeable lenses, a sharper image, oh man. I can't even describe the feeling that I had. With this cheap entry-level camera, I found more inspiration and motivation than I did with my iPhone. And I started seeing the number of change to my subscribers. First a few hundred, a few thousand, and then I reached 30,000 subscribers, mainly using the Sony a6300. Now don't get me wrong, this had nothing to do with me using a mirrorless camera. This was simply because I got more motivation to work hard and pursue my passion of becoming a filmmaker. For me, this was a simple change of path from the smartphone to a real camera. So if we take a look at the phrase, gear doesn't matter. I don't know if that's completely true. To a certain point, of course, as a content creator and filmmaker on YouTube or any other social media platform, you don't need 8K RAW or the biggest rig you can find. You need a camera, and it doesn't matter what camera you use. It's all about finding something that you have a passion for, something that you love using. Whether this is your smartphone, a mirrorless or a DSLR camera, or even an action camera. Gear doesn't matter or what camera you use doesn't matter. What matters is that you should always enjoy making content, regardless of gear. So if you enjoy making the content with your phone, save your money and follow that path. If you struggle with motivation and you find yourself not being dedicated enough, try changing path. Get a cheap camera, test it out, and see if you get more motivation, inspiration, and even become more creative getting this new device. For me, this change made a huge difference. More than 100k subscribers being the most average person on earth. Anything is possible.
So that's my story from starting with a smartphone. It didn't really work out for me, but maybe it does for you. But just a simple change of path can mean the difference between success and failure. I will always love to shoot with my phone. It's so convenient and it's always with me. With new technology every year, the smartphones are just getting better and better. Telling a compelling story through video has nothing to do with what camera you use, but a camera or equipment can help you on the way to achieve your goals and eventually tell better stories. Not because of the quality, but because it gives you something new. I hope you found some value in this video. Show me your support by sharing this video with friends and family or on social media. All my recommendations and the gear I have been using will be down in the description below. And I also want to say thank you for all the support from commenting, sharing my videos, getting my Luma Fusion presets and watching the videos I publish. It really means a lot. So until next time, take care and I will see you in the next video.